Hi and welcome back to the workshop. This is my giant drill press. It's fabulous. It has a rotary table and will take drill bits up to 16 millimeters in diameter. And I use it for drilling big stuff. But I make these little engineering models. This is an oscillating engine, a twin one, and there's lots of small parts. Steam holes need to be drilled down to two millimeters in diameter. And the big drill press, although it's jolly good, just doesn't get down to that precision. Dr. Chinese Engineering Company sent me this. Let's open it up and see what I've got in the box. Ooh, a variable power supply, maybe. Cable. Packing. Instructions. Good, a power supply for Europe. Some tools. And look at this. It's a micro drill press. Aha. This is exactly what I need. It comes with a speed controller an accurate, precise way of going up and down, variable height adjustment, a micro chuck and chuck key, and great, an engineering vice. Let's give it a go and see how precise it really is. Let's plug it in. Hey, turn it on. Oh, it seems very precise and very powerful. Two things that I really need. So a few things I really like about it, it's well built, it's powerful, but the main good thing, it can take drill bits down to about one millimeter in size. And that's exactly what I couldn't do with the big drill press. This little guy is small and precise. So let's check out what sizes of drill bits this micro chuck can really take. This one in it right now, I think, is a probably a two mil drill bit. Let's see if it can take a big drill bit. This is a six millimeter drill bit. It needs to go up a bit. Six mil. Now let's go down all the way to the extreme and a teeny tiny one millimeter drill bit. I don't know if you can even see that, it's so small. Let's give it a go. Yep. So that's just what I need for building my steam engine models. An accurate precision drill press. If you fancy your own precision drill press, you can get one here, but with a discount code, Prof. Simon. Get drilling.